What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another part to our Wrath of Sparta co-op campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. And uh, we are, well I have expanded to the northwest and taken a layer in the last episode, if you haven't checked that out I would recommend you do so. And uh, Scrim has fended off invasions that were then cancelled because of a crash, but then... <laughs> So, yeah. So it never happened, but it looks like he could have another rebellion on his hands in Uboa. I, I, it is looking that way, but I've got more troops being built, so hopefully that minus one is going to disappear into green numbers. So hopefully that rebellion will be non-existent, and that means I can put, carry on pushing north because I'm making good ground. Yes. I and the best thing say. is, uh, Macedonia is in a state of starvation, so I'm just waiting for them to starve themselves out. So the garrison, the troops are just going to be depleted, and I could just roll right through onto Dion, possibly. But that's that's the current plans anyway. So um, yeah, yeah, we are, you're doing well. I've seen you taking fastest. You probably could take Freya, but yeah, I'd go for Larissa first. Get a good mm. solid stronghold there. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then um, I can I now after beating Alea with the, well the Sicilian League Alea, I can now have free passage to just take the rest of like Macedon's northern territory. Absolutely. I mean, they're probably not thought about defending Antogia and uh, Argos and. Uh, Basically, all those northern settlements there, because they're all down here to look. So there's a large army next to me, but they're half strength, and they're getting depleted. So by the time I do attack them, if I do, they're not going to stand. Yeah, So, and if you're wondering, why are you going for Mastodon, uh, Pope and Scream, instead of going for Athens? And the reason is, is because we want to use the Macedonian lands to get to the Athenian lands, because there are a load of navies to get around, and it's just going to be a lot more, it's a lot less risk-free for us to send a fleet like for me i've got to send a fleet from like athens and it's got to go all the way around Euboa and all the way back up north and it's just yeah getting one army there and then sending it back to pick up another by the time it's done that it's probably that first army has probably been destroyed because like byzantine has huge stacks nearby so does athens so it's, it's uh, a bit of a struggle. yeah it's better for us to go through and we can be a united force what well, in front if we go through the Macedonian lines. Absolutely. And as long as we hold on to this little archipelago, yeah. which uh, we are now, like I've, I've got a bit of a stronghold now, it's um, not going to fall. I, you know, I think we, if we hold this as our battle, as a defensive line, we can just push forward, like you said, and just go go through the land forces. So we're just going to crush them, really. We're at a stage where we can crush them. Exactly. So we'll uh, get on with the end turn and we'll see what happens in that. Absolutely. I'm so happy I'm earning like 6,000 to go. It's, it's just good. <laughs> it's good to have so much money. But yes, we also need to plan on uh, doing some na invasions of uh, Athens' territory, like around Rhodes, because it's got a one or two, I think. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm building up a fleet, and I've got two armies on standby, but they're mostly in defensive positions because I can't. I need to break the Ionian League. That's fair uh, before before I can push forward. Yeah, so that is another that's thing. Why. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Another thing we need to do is destroy the Ionian or some of the Ionian League just to make a path. Yeah, because they've got navy after navy, and uh, mm. they're a little bit bigger than ours, so it's yeah. just unfortunate. Okay, Kaidoni is just in a lap around Athens. <laughs> I just saw that. It's quite funny, actually. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, go back what to are them. you doing? Oh, Macedonia's doing stuff. Okay. It's just gone past my major army. It's going south into Sparta, I think. What a bizarre move. Yeah, I'm trying to see where they're going, but I keep getting pulled away by Rhodes, who's yeah. moving stuff. Rhodes has got big stacks. Okay, and Alea is being besieged. Okay, so the Salian League have tried to attack me, but I'm just going to water resolve because I've got really good odds. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it's under siege, but yeah. I don't know what's going on. All right, I lost the garrison army and the fleet, but my other armies. Oh, I lost the cavalry unit. Damn. Bit of a uh, bit of. A... Yeah, I'm, hit gonna, I'm gonna release them because they're no threat to me. So, and I get one thousand four hundred for it. So, fair enough. I'll do that. Right. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So I am now finally in Eboa. Um, it's not green, but it's not red. So the public order stabilized at least. Excellent. Did you? I just need to be very careful. Yeah. Did you get a rebellion? No, I didn't. I'm on ninety nine yeah. minus ninety nine. So I need to be very careful what I do next. So I'm going to build that Odium. That will give me from plus 5 to 10 public order, and that will hopefully negate future problems. Now, my issue here is the brothers of 
whoever they are from Macedon is pushing into, I believe, either Spartan lands or my lands or even Thermon, maybe. And that's a bit of an issue because I've got no defensive forces here, so I don't know what they're doing. And yeah. if I leave my newly captured settlement, obviously there's no defense to it. And on top of that, Macedon has left the capital undefended, but also pushed an army to the west, which, by the way, there is an army coming to your west. Okay. So what do I do? Do I push down to engage this? Oh, I can't even reach him. So I could push forward, but I feel like I'm going to lose a settlement, but that might be okay. I think that might be okay. okay. So I might I might push to Larissa now. But I just need to be careful what that army's up to, because I can't lose any more settlements. Yes, Dodonna is the threat, uh, would be the threatened prov uh, like region for me, because hmm. the other two places near Macedon are walled settlements, so I'm not too worried. But if they're going near Thermon, then they can get to Norca Paktos, or whatever that place is, and that's that's be a problem, because I'd like to hold on to that. Though I might have to take Thermon at some point as yeah. well, just to link up my lands, even though I think I've got military access, but still. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm going to go take Larissa. Fair enough. Because um, that will hopefully push her armies backwards. Even if I lose Pharaos, I can always double back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If they're starving as well, I mean, um, oh, yeah. absolutely no. Yeah, I mean, I think Pharaos was the, their main food uh, supply. Yeah, it has the horses, doesn't it? But um, it does indeed. I think I'm going to lose it, but taking over Larissa is uh, a good move, I think. And yeah. if I have to double back, I'll double back. So, yeah, I auto resolve that because uh, there was it was just a complete slaughter for them. Oh, so I'm Larissa. going to, uh, I'm going to. What am I going to do? I'm going to raise. Uh, I think I'll occupy for now. Hey, there we go. It's changed. Very nice. It has indeed. Uh, I'll keep the. What am I, will I keep? Right, I'm going to delete the barracks, and I think I'll always, leave the temple. I'll, I'll leave the temple. Put the barracks maybe in fastless if you've got space. It already is one. There's oh, already a level two one, so I don't need to worry about that. But I'm not going to be building troops there because obviously the iron settlements where the majority of my troops are being built currently. So, yeah, I've taken Larissa. I'm going to keep hold of that. Delete that uh, barracks. I'm going to build a shrine though to improve public order, even though it reduces food. But I've got plenty of that anyway. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I can do this turn. I just need to see what these armies are doing because a lot of damage I think can come my way. But that's fine. I can make that work. I mean, I'm okay. building up a load more armies right now, so we'll be okay. We'll be all right. I think it's just going to be a bit of back and forth until I can deplete them. My army's like a super stack, so I don't see that being an issue anytime soon. Anyway, uh, just quickly upgrading my generals. And okay. Lovely. Thank you for that. Oh, sons of Ari. Yeah, I've got two of my armies just leveled up fighting uh, the Thessalian League, so that's good. Oh, good. Um, we're going to go with... I think I'm going with melee attack skill for both of them. Oh, yeah, and I've got an army full of mercenaries in one of them, but I can afford them, so hey. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, exactly. I might have to do that next turn, see where Macedonia's going first, and if they're going to push into my main capital, army mercenaries it is. Yeah, it's always a good move. Right, what did I get? Oh, yes, and I've also been building more boats. I'm now at 7,000 in income. Jesus Christ. I am... Powering through. Yeah, I am very, very wealthy. But, um... Oh, yes, and there's a fleet here. Transport. I don't think I can reach. Also, it's... I need... I'd be 16 against 20. Uh, oh, wait, there's a big, um... Rhodian... Uh, transport like fleet nearby so if we could intercept it at some point that would be very nice but Rhodian transport fleet it's lit. Um, you see Naxos actually no you can't see yeah, it yeah is you it to can... the right yeah. of it yeah it's like to the right of it it's through the it's just above oh yeah so it is yeah, yeah, yeah it's just above that trade route so um, yeah that that is going to be one of my places I need to take out but or targets I mean you could probably send your fleet in there now and demolish them there's only one hit to take them out even if you just weaken them and retreat that, that army will become nothing yeah I'm, I'm recruiting more but also the Rhodian fleet's not going to be able to get too far for, more forward because transports can't travel far in water so I probably got next turn to hit it as well so oh yeah I'll wait because then I've got uh, by next turn I'll have three more uh, loads of marines so I'll, I'll wait one more turn might as well yeah um, while we're doing that, I'm going to build. I was going to build stuff here in Dodona. I was going to build a gymnasium and um, 
What's food's all right actually as well. Um, what we're we getting here, Dorian, okay, and Acadian. Um, I could do that, or I could do, might do some lead, build some a lead, bigger lead mine, whatever this is. Okay, and then here, we can do lots of stuff. So we'll build a harbor, and a paltasserie, whatever that is, a pastry. I'm calling it now. <laughs> Right, and then we'll build a few... Oh, yes, I was building... The boats I've got are in a different fleet. This is where I, they got recruited. Nice. So I'll build some more arches. Well, just to make sure that... Uh, Kaidonia don't do anything. Because <laughs> I don't trust any of them. Um, and apart from that, have I got any agents, actually? I have no agents. Wow. How much does it cost to buy an agent? It feels like 1200 I think. I think it goes up bit by bit. It's eleven hundred currently for me. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got yeah, I three. Might, I think no, I've got four. Two I champions. Might, I might and... buy a spy next turn just to look at Macedon's stuff. Um, yeah, you've got an enemy army going towards Dodona, I think. Okay, uh, well, I think I've got one more turn that I'm safe, and then I can probably like go and save it. And also, I'd like, yeah, I have one more turn of like recruitment in that area, so I should be okay. Anyway, I will end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Oh, Athens. Athens is poking its head around. Yeah, it's definitely coming for you at some point. Oh, well, every day, every day awaits another unit being built, so I'm not too worried. Excellent. Yeah, Ionian League sending more boats back. They just got. Endless... I think they're just. Yeah, they're just kind of kicking about, aren't they? They're not really a threat. They're just there. Yeah, they're very much. Yeah, they are very much just scouting, doing a lot of that. They don't know what to do because, uh, like I say, every day they wait. My armies get bigger, and um, I think they're just about the right size to be. Oh, what's Mac Yeah, Macedonia is going towards Dodona. Yeah, I've just seen. Okay. I've had one. Oh, there's a second bigger army that's gone past Faralos and going towards Dodona. Oh, why would you say this? And why are they not going for you? I, I, I'm helping you. This is this is information. It's intel. I know. Yeah, but... they didn't go. Past, they, yeah, they completely ignored Pharaohs, and I think they're going towards you now. So, oh. it's probably probably a smart move. I might be able to intercept them, but I don't know what state of repair I can leave Larissa in. The Salian League are uh, attacking again. Ninety nine percent this time. Ooh. I may just. Uh, well, I probably won't get it. Releasing actually gives me six hundred wealth and. Oh. But it destroys the faction anyway, so... Ah, uh, high chance of civil war. Oh, yeah, it's a point pounced on me. like. 40%, right. Shall we, uh, um... Six. Lovely. Let's secure some loyalty. I'm so glad that warning told me. Yeah, I'm glad that I was warnings. not paying attention. Oh, <laughs> right, I'm on 12% now. Well, it's still not good. Where, who is commanding my navy? I believe it's one of my enemy generals. But there's also a bigger army and a better army on the same settlement, so I don't see that being an issue... Um, let's just spend a bit of money sorting that out. Yeah, upgrade the horse there. That's an upgraded army as it is. Four hoplites. Uh, let's build. What do I usually build? Is it four? Hmm. What are you then? Who are you? Build another horse unit. In there. No, I need something else. What else do I have in my armies? Three javelin men. Let's get some javelin men to just. Flesh this out on a hot plate unit. Let's so build another hot plate unit so I can. Okay. Right, what am I doing? I can take over whatever Faro is. And that secures a province, but though Larissa will be very much left to its own devices. But that's fine. I could secure this province. Okay. Yeah. And if they side attack either settlement, I'll be able to double back and take it back again. Yeah. This is this is going to be another, but uh, I think it's going to be another um, Uboa oh. where it's just constant fighting until I can secure it. Maybe I don't know. They seem to be going past you and just going for me, so it's not really like constant fighting. It's just more. Yeah, like... I'm more thinking the rebels though. Oh. Uh. Now I am I am getting those technologies tragedy and uh, comedy, so I'm hoping that will be enough to boost my public order big enough so it's not you know an issue. Right, I'm going to dismantle that because I don't need two of them. Okay, now I've secured the province. It's time to... I can't change edicts there. I have to keep that there, otherwise I'm going to lose more public order. Well, okay. the Agree and Axemen for Macedon are 55 they cost. 
Wow. Mine are 88, so they're not much. Oh, I can get some Crucian archers. Nah, I'll leave it. If they're, um, cheap, if they're cheap, I would possibly, but... Oh, they're like 250 each, yeah, though. Yeah, uh... it's... I mean, I could afford it on my economy, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> nah, I'm just thinking, because my archers are like silver chevrons. One guy's nearly a gold chevron. It's just not worth trading one for the other, really. Uh, you, they're probably just as equal, to be honest. Yeah, missile damage is a bit more, but... I actually know they're better in every way, shape, and form. That says a lot. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I think I'm happy. I need to I definitely need to build something in Larissa to get improved public order next turn, but that is fine. In Fair fact, enough. no, I'll do that now. I'll do that now. Let's get rid of this hoplite unit. Yep, it's public forum. Okay, that's me done for this turn. Excellent. Thessalian League, right. So, I will also will just say, because uh, this episode will be coming out on the Monday, we are now starting to do monday episodes as well because scrim has now got a new gaming channel yes indeed so um i was always conscious about putting too much total war games on my main airsoft channel so i've decided now i'm gonna have a dedicated scrim gaming channel which means i'm going to be doing a lot more campaign stuff so there'll be two uh, grand campaign releases a week uh with me and pope uh followed by a few extra bits and pieces and with the release of free kingdoms i'll be releasing a campaign for that as well so yeah, that's my current plans. Excellent. Sounds very good. I'm looking forward to doing more uh, campaign stuff with you. So we Yeah, can, me too. Uh, we can get on with that. Ooh, I've seen some mercenary Ionian Hippias as a possible replacement for my cavalry. I might do it. I'll hire them. Hired. Excellent. <laughs> so we've now got a 20 sack again. So the 10,000, which are absolutely... I mean, there's not 10,000 of them. Definitely not, but hey... Um, they definitely can't reach me this turn. I'm going to go and march everything to Dodonna. So now I've got about 20, a 20 stack, a um, 14 stack, and then the garrison, which is another four to defend Dodonna. Yeah. They're, they're not taking that. <laughs> and the other place is Ambrakia is a... Um, it's got a is a wall city, so and it's got ten garrison. Should be okay, so then. it should be safe. Yeah, it's just, the, it's, they've only got light hoplites, so if as long as they're behind the walls, I'm sure they'll just get held anyway. Yeah, I've got like I've got quite a lot of light hoplites myself, but they're fairly well chevron, and I've got a lot of uh, normal hoplites as well. I've been building up. Yeah. So we're good, right? I'm just going to level this guy up. I think I might go with the yep, morale. Yeah. Make you better. Um, so we've built a lot of stuff there. Yep. Uh, outrage populace Epirus, but we are getting happier, so stop that. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting an amphitheatron. So, uh, Ooh, so yeah, fun. yeah, it's basically a Colosseum. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, it, Everyone mean, likes it, a good gladiator battle. I think it's not. I think it's. Um, oh yeah, it's good plays. They're all dedicated to the gods. So it's. Oh. After oh, this, amphitheater. Of course, yes. it's a theater. Yes, I am. Uh, so obviously, after doing comedy and tragedy. I've now got somewhere to play my comedy and tragedy. I'm still down still downloading, still <laughs> researching tragedy and comedy, and that will help so much with public order because I'm riddled with constant rebels. Yeah, and uh, I've lost. I have managed to lose the uh, Rodian stack. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, let me have a look. I might be able to see them. No, I have... no, they might have gone south. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. I'm also enjoying how Melos is still not helping in this war. It's happy just to... Sit there. Hello. Sit there. Yep, do nothing. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's kind of a waste of time here, guys, but I, I don't mind. They have... How, carry on paying me tribute and I'll leave you alone. Yeah. They have plus 51, um, like, a turn in happiness, and there are 100. Oh, Melos. Yeah. Uh, so they've probably got a stack sitting in their army that yeah, in the city, haven't they? They do have a huge stack set there. Yeah, that'll be why then. Um, ooh, I might go for a temple of muses. Up the food. Ooh, because that gets me plus eighteen research rate, so I will be researching stuff a lot quicker. I need to really look at that sort of stuff. I think. Yeah, I, it's, you either can choose that, which I have one of them in Athens. So I think Athens also holding that gives you another buff. And having the Amphitheatron, it's either that or the Temple of Muses, I think, could choose. But, um, decisions, decisions. Yeah. But, um, so I'm going to... Ooh, two. That'll be minus. I don't God, really... Mega Zeus, 24 public order, jeez. Yeah. 
I'm not really sure what I want to spend my money on. Maybe a bigger fleet? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I have no idea what I'm going to spend it on. Maybe more money. Uh, yeah, more money. How do you spend? How do you spend? Oh, you invest money in bonds. Money. <laughs> you invest in bonds, and it grows. I wish we had bonds in in uh, ancient. In ancient Greece, Greece yeah. Um, I will build some more javelin. Yeah, now my uh, my fleets instantly a unit rank three. Um, good. When they get recruited, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine are level two, chevron two, yeah. I'll do that for now, and then I've still got 1,600 to spend somewhere. I might spend it on... I've got another fleet there. I've got three fleets, but all are in different parts of the world to defend. Um, how many armies do I have? Three. I'm pretty sure I had more at one point. I might start building another. Let's see. Who could we... Disciples of Zeus. I don't... Ooh! I'm going to do politics first, because... Okay, I can't secure loyalty. I want to see if I can adopt anyone else. Send a gift, do a favor, spread rumors, gather support, secure promotion. That'll be a big no, then it seems on the on the. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not actually be able to adopt anyone else, but I'd have liked to. Oh well. Um. Uh, oh wait a minute. You guys can adopt people, but oh no, you can seek a spouse. Yeah, which ones adopt then? Actually, I'm looking. I'm completely looking at the wrong one. Adopt. There's adopt in this. Oh, there. Can you adopt anyone? There's no one to adopt, so... It's a shame that you can't just make new characters as well. Because it would really help. You can, the natural way. I've got a son. Yeah, mine aren't giving birth to children, <laughs> Scrim, so... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've had to adopt an heir. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad it's got. Um, now, I'm... Yeah. I might give him promotion. I'll give this guy some promotion. Jeez, I didn't realize how powerful this guy was. So we'll do that, and then can I promote this guy? No, nope. we can spread rumors. Um, do a favor. My god, my current guy is so good. He's because he's the Bazalius. Like having the um, Bazalius like trait gives you so much stuff. Um, but anyway, I will. I could. I don't really want to send gifts either. I also don't want to secure promotion for any of you people. I can secure a promotion for my like a wife. Yeah, why not? For the jokes. Do God, it. God, you can desert, <laughs> This you is so dumb. I What? No, I'm just looking at the politics myself. Yeah, it's so jokes that you can just like yeah, secure a promotion for the wife, be fine. <laughs> I'm leader of your armies, even though I've never led an army before. Yes, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. But I am. Stick up with a pointy end. <laughs> oh yes, of course. You can send diplomats as well to um to uh make your faction like leaders happy, like you more. So happier, yeah. Yeah. So that might be. I should probably should have really looked at that because I'm still at a twelve percent risk factor. Mine's at four now, so I'm okay. I think I'm okay with three armies as well. I'm not. I don't know. I might build another one. Mm, but I'd rather have like another loyal general before I decide to build another one. Fleets, I'm okay having unloyal gen them as unloyal because they're not they're not too like much of a problem if you attack their city. Yeah. If you attack the city with um like an army, they they're not going to be as strong. But I mean, if they're they, if they struggle, if, yeah, yeah, if they hold a settlement uh, like an island settlement, then that's a different different story altogether. Um, what am I going to spend the money on then? I still have a thousand squids. No, nah, I think I'll just save it. I might save this money. And end the turn. Get some action oh, going. Oh, 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 oh. They're coming for, oh. They're coming for Lorien. They are indeed. They're yeah. returning. They have returned. God damn it. Right. They're here for Athens. Yeah. Luckily, they're only a naval power, so they can't. Yeah, but... Oh, no, they can, can't they? Yeah. Um... I just realised that um, Kaidonia's got another fleet there as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but they're not doing anything. They're just walking around. Um, I will obviously fight this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's... Can... Yeah, okay. It's close. The numbers are close, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is quite the advantage I've got here. Yeah, but I have big stacks as well. Like, actual proper units. Yeah, true. I don't know. If I had some cavalry, I'd be okay, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at countering cavalry. I'm good at using them, I just... Ugh. Yeah, I need to uh, send my fleet back, it seems, to go and destroy them. Because these guys are not allowed to stay. I might, hmm. need, I might need to uh, build a... Might need to build an army. I might need to build an army in Athens. Oh, brilliant. Um, so yes, Fill it with mercenaries as well, just to counter any rushing tactics they may have. Yeah, that's what I'm going to Particularly do. if that other, other faction decides to declare war on you. Because if, that yeah, will Kaid, be... yeah, if Kaidoni declares war on me, then, then we just have a problem. And I'm just going to have to push them into the sea. If they have, they come, come just for a play, just to take Athens from me. That'll be absolute jokes. Your uh, dip your diplomacy will uh, increase though. You won't have that minus forty penalty anymore. Yeah, for like a turn or two. <laughs> yeah. While I then retake it, um, and then people might want to trade with me again. But I mean, I don't really need the money. I'd rather have Athens because it gives me so much money. They're but, still in a plague, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think they're always going to be in a plague. It's um, kind of the point of the whole um, Peloponnesian War. Athens has a huge plague in it, and it basically depletes their population and destroys their war effort. So, it makes sense. Yeah. But we'll just... We'll just see. We'll see, see what happens. Yes. Hopefully we can... Uh, I can push these guys back into the sea. See what happens. Oh. So much... Oh, dear. I'm, the waiting I'm, game. Yeah, I'm really like not looking forward to this because... Or if I lose it, then I lose a whole edict as well. Oh, blimey heck. Oh, well. If we Tension lose... is ri rising. Yeah. It reminds me of the time this happened to me. Yeah, it's a very same similar... It's a very similar... Off, um... How the tables have turned. Yeah, but it's worse off for me, I think, because I, you had picked hoplites. I have none. I have you've none. not even your general? No, no. Oh, it's garrison, this is garrisons, though. isn't it? You had generals there. Yeah, not that it mattered. The numbers will always win in the end. Yeah, don't say that since you outnumber me <laughs> by about a hundred, I think. Is it just by a hundred? I think it's about by a hundred. Yeah. So it's not not a massive lead in our numbers. No, I've got militia hoplite units as well, which are actually full stack. While you have like just m marine half stacks. Yeah. So I do outrange you though with a lot of things. Um. Yeah. Yeah, got five yeah. javelin men and an archer unit, or four javelin men and an archer unit. I have two archer units. Oh, again, though, marines. Um, so, depends, really. And then I have two javelin units, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. My garrison's pretty piddly. I'm pretty sure I had a good garrison here at one point as well. See, this is why, this is why I like Attila. You can actually build garrison buildings. Yeah. Yeah, you can, can't you? You can just have, like... I'm trying to also see where the docks are for this place. I think they're here. Yeah, they're, I'm looking at them now. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're here. How am I going to defend this then? <coughs> Bless me, God. I could feel it coming. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, which way am I going to come from? Is that a spawn for you? Yeah, apparently. Wow. What this a is weird... tiny sliver. Yeah, what a weird spawn. Right, uh, yeah, I'm really, really nervous for this one. <laughs> um, so what, I'm going to do that and that. So I'm going to do a bit of that. If you see, yes, I'm probably going to come there. Well, there's a lot of uh, gaps as well in this line. I think I, think I might lose Lorien, which will be annoying. Anyway, dun, I'm going to rush you. Well, I'm done, so oh. I was giving you the courtesy. Oh. See? Not always an asshole. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're, um, you're landing, aren't you? Yes. Slowly. <sighs> Slowly. Your general just slam. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. We to <laughs> slam into the other guys. Like, no, nah, I didn't really want you. Get off. Get off my beach. Get off my beach. Oh, just hurry up. That's like the slowest disembarking I've ever seen. Oh. A bizarre... What's that button again that removes all the UIF? Um, K. K. Of you course it is. I knew that. Thank you. It's alright. You're going to need to know that for your gaming channel. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited for its release. It means this grand campaign we'll just oh, fast forward and get through it. I just watch them just like slam against each other, like, hurry up, get off the boat! Da 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 not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. No, it's not happening. Watch me pelt your units then with my archers. Nope. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. We are running. Running away. As goddamn quick as we can. As long as my... Uh... Oh. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh god. That, I felt that. I was going to say, did you okay. sink any of them? I don't think if you slam into yourself by accident, I don't think it does any damage anyway. No, it doesn't. Oh, I can slam in the back of you, though. Oh, we just can reversed. I, it was reversing with the boat, and I was like, is it going to do it? It might now, though. No, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. No, it did. That's that's a bit annoying that the AI is just like, eh. Nah, maybe next time. Yeah, we'll get him another time. Um, can you okay. Stop oh, it. oh, got a few of them. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. There's a few little uh, casualties kicking about now. <sighs> no, no, no. We'll have none of that. Well, how many did you lose? I know I've got about 45 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 30, 5, 6. Yeah, 39 I'm down to. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> we already have a disadvantage. How dare <laughs> you. Right, so... You've got... A lot of armoured marines. Do I have any armoured marines? I've got armored yeah. marines and normal marines. I've just got normal marines. Ah, brilliant! The ancient marines. They're looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, the armored ones probably look even better though. Oh yeah, look at those armored marines. Yeah, they're the ones I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> give marines any time. Actually, so, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to just confirm that these were. Yeah, they are. Oh, they look very nice. So I'm not making the same mistake I've made in the past. You're just gonna charge in, aren't you? No. You're charging in. No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. I'm doing something. Uh, that's something I can't see, so. Yeah, I can't see much of you at the moment either. I can see your army, but I just, there's nothing I can see, obviously. Just marching forward now. Should we uh, fast forward? We can do. I've just got some nice shots of... Uh... Your marching army. There you go. Zoom. Oh, I'll do this. I'll do the same. In fact, no, I'm. Oh, I've yep. given up now. The speed walking. Yeah. I, it's really funny watching speed walkers on the streets. You just see them really, really busting out. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a funny sight. It's a strange sight. To see. It is a strange sight, but uh, whatever makes you happy. Yes. Right. Let's. Uh, My archers can run. They can catch up. Huh, how am I going to engage this? Probably quite easily. You've got the numbers. You've got the more units. So you can just, like... You're a lot more yeah, flexible. Yeah, I'm a lot more flexible, but I need to match your numbers or I'm going to get an advantage. So I'm just going to ride all the way here. I'm so glad you haven't got any horsemen. I know, it's very useful. Having no horses is always a useful tactic. <laughs> right, and then you go there. You go here. Actually, here. You here. You here. And you here. Actually, you go there. And you go. Oh, okay, we just. I did not realize we were going back to f normal speed. Uh. My uh, balance power looks a bit better now. <laughs> yeah, it does. Doesn't it? It's funny when you go into the main thing, it's all of a sudden that actually, oh, actually, I might have an advantage here. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> a slight chance, possibly. I'm feeling confident. I, w I would feel confident if I was you, Scrim. Ready and waiting. If you just stand, stand there and shoot at me, I will be very angry, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because you haven't got any... Cavalry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've just been we just mentioned that about two minutes ago. Hey, hey, did you know you got no cavalry? <laughs> Stop. 
You know those really large beaks with four legs? You ain't got that. <laughs> so I was fast forwarding again now. I'll get my troops into some positions. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Just watch your blue boys appear. <laughs> blue and tan. I'm going with that as a colour. And white. Moving into position. Yeah. Ah, I love how they got the. I love how the javelin men got these like almost like sun hats on. Yeah, it, they do look very strange. All right, let's begin the assault. <laughs> oh, okay, bringing them. What forward. have you got? You got. Mm. Ready and waiting. Advance at speed. If it's the same scenario, my guys just break instantly because we're in a goddamn garrison thing, I will be so angry. Because <laughs> this is a fairly good chance at victory. Oh, and the uh, javelin men and archers are now engaged. Yeah. Though I'm not really sure what chances there are either. Okay, can you just. Can you do summon? It's good to watch them though. I'm watching yours because then I can see your guys die. No, I'm watching your guys die at the moment. Well, that's that's nice. At least at least we're supporting each other. <laughs> yeah, die! Oh, very nice. Break. The men are wavering. There yeah. goes my. For, that's my general, I think, as well. No, yeah, it's not. <laughs> if that was your general going scrim, I'd be like, you get in there. Right. You're sending oh, in your javelin. No, I didn't mean to. They. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, that's fine by me, mate. I'm more than happy to slaughter them. It's because they were like supposed to be targeting a certain unit, and uh, they that finished. Didn't work. Them. Well, they did, and then they that t certain unit started to break, so they were chasing them. And I was like, oh no. Shoot them, please. Actually, no. Keep shooting them. Okay. Oh, your militia hoplites aren't standing. Are they not? Well, your ones on your left hand side aren't. No, neither are the ones on the right, to be honest. Oh, yeah, well. It was a worthy stab. <laughs> Who's used all their ammo? Well, get in the fight. <laughs> Just throw them at the enemy. Yeah, basically. Better get my javelins to retreat, they're now spent. Okay, those guys have just got sent in, just like wavered instantly. <laughs> Idiots! Yeah, this this is going to be a, uh, uh, a solid win for Athens. It looks like it, yeah. See, my flanking force has been intercepted by your general and everything. So. Yeah. I'd seen it coming. It was an easy thing to spot. Eh. That's what, I don't want to repeat the mistake where I spread out too thin and you just knocked out my unit, so I knew I had to at least match you in most places. Mm. I've still got uh, reserves as well, so I've got yeah. a, a nice little uh, reserve unit that are ready to go. Yeah, it's strange that you send your armored marines in first instead of the marines. But I guess. Yeah, I. The armor marines does all the main damage, and whatever's left can be mopped up by weaker units. It just keeps everything, you know. Yeah, I guess. I always say leave your best or last, but I'm like, no, because you've used a cannon for they get killed off too quickly, and your elite units have a hard time mopping up. However, you deplete them with your elite units, your weaker units can actually effectively mop up. I guess, yeah. My armored marines are taking no casualties here. I don't know, your general's taking quite a lot. My general. It's taking 45. Presumably oh, by your archers. It's it's a painful sight to see. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it's alright, they'll stand. They'll stand. They're the men of Athens. They'll stand. Actually, I'm going to hide them. I've just realised they are taking quite a few units. Nah, horses. why would you do that? Many reasons. Oh, I'll just shoot them in the back then. 
Norden. Well, the, the other archers will be left much longer anyway, so I won't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know. I could have I could have killed the general, and that could have changed this, the shape of the battle. <laughs> uh, maybe. Have, maybe. Maybe. I'm still hitting him. I've killed a few more. <laughs> you actually. Yeah. All right. Okay. If you can play that game. Bye. <laughs> oh, I've got a few more. See you later. <laughs> He's down to twenty-one. Yeah, he is as well. Oh, I've run out of ammo. I just, Bye. I just then ran out of ammo. So you're okay. No, you haven't. Oh, you have, have you? Okay. Yeah. I'm also having to send the archers in anyway. They won't hold for long. They're, they're just not holding at all. all right. Let's mop up. Yeah. That was a uh, not even a close battle, really. But uh, mind you, some casualties on their. Uh... Oh yeah, they're just broken. I just saw that. Yeah, and the general will break in a minute. Well, I will just retake it in the next episode, so it'll be fine. <laughs> I will retake and conquer. Ah. Close victory, apparently. It's all a big lie. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Yeah, you're only about uh, just under a hundred, just above. Yeah. I was just above a hundred over you, so. Yeah. Oh well. Well, we'll uh, end this end turn and end the episode there probably because Pope's sad that he's lost Lorian, and that was a good. It's a good <laughs> settlement. It earns me a lot of money, and um, also it's got lead. Lead's yeah. Good. True. And it's, see if Athens actually takes Athens, it. Athens. Yeah. Just the province. The province of Athens as well. Uh, scream. Was on thirty plus po uh, like happiness, and they had to come, and you had to come over there and win. <laughs> well, you I, know, it's it, the way well, the cookie crumbles. I know, but you're supposed to be guarding that straight. What was your job? <laughs> was I? Oh yeah, Andros. They came through Andros and did they actually? I didn't even know. And Kyastos. Oh yeah, I know. I did know. So their navy is a little bigger than mine. Build it up, man. I'm building it up. I've got other campaigns. Oh, Alice's Astro Military Alliance. They've got no land. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're in the middle of the sea currently. He's like, nah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, retake that in the next episode. We're firing. <laughs> they're attacking them. Argos. Oh, oh god. <laughs> uh, that single. It's not even the general, but it's just him, and that's it. Yeah, it will yeah, be. It's on it. See what happens. Right, I'm down to six thousand to go now. It's a sad time. I can't even remember uh, what this edict was on. I think it was. Tax, maybe bread and games? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, Kaidonia didn't do anything. Macedon. Oh, Macedon? Macedonia's going towards the river. But they're in force march, which means I can wipe them out with Yeah, they retreated from <laughs> after they saw a yeah. 34 stack <laughs> army. It looks arrive. like I'm going to be in a few defensive battles next episode, so this is going to be fun. Good. But they're in force march, so I can ambush them, so I can wipe them out. Well, I can wipe a army out. Oh, I've seen the uh, Rhodian army again. It's coming quite near. Your land. Yeah, I just saw that. You can build, you can destroy that next <laughs> Anyway, guys, we will uh, end the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you have. And please check out Scrim's new channel. And if you're a fan of Airsoft, check out his uh, old channel. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Keep an eye as well, because now we're um, doing episodes a week. We're going to be powering through this campaign a lot more quickly. We're going to power our way through the uh, next campaign, which is uh, Rise of the Republic. And we'll be going straight into the main campaign. So hopefully, we'll be there very soon. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'll keep an eye on Pope's channel for his perspective, and until then, we'll see you all next time. Bye for now.